Damn you! Damn you! Good day, you all. Joseph Krashi here of the Swimming Podcast. Now let's get into it. A survival drama segment of Brought Upon Yourself, Castaway. Despite the working title, let's not be confused with the movie title from two separate words, but also reference which I will get to that part. A story of a young male traveler known for crazy vlogging adventures, but, also, but often disregarding his own safety as he pleased. His next trip is in an island which is yet to be confirmed. He's ignoring advice from his family who are concerned about the pending disaster, but he just took off and paid the ultimate price. Days after what appears to be the island is deserted, he has awoken not only to discover he is a sole survivor, but also has amnesia without suffering. Why? Because he has no clue how he should feel guilty for his own folly. As a result, he adapts himself as a castaway at ease. His reaction, however, puzzles each time flashes either memory refreshing or hallucinating. It is very likely he will face the reverse five stage of grief the closer his memory regains. First thing about filming in an uninhabited beach or an island, location scaling at my expense. Be aware which is the right season for warm weather and less raining days. As long as the scenery is secluded from towns and everyone behind the cameras. Of course, I am uncertain how to obtain permit for shooting like the Botanic Garden from Queensland I once issued in 2016 for student film. Fun fact, I once filmed myself as a castaway in the beach resort, which I will get into it on the research topic. Though my research for this plot may be little, I can gather, so I'll put it simply I can't to envision. Lone survivor on the island and without music background influenced by 2000 film Cast Away, as mentioned from the introduction. Improvised to invent a home and tools reference in a 1980 movie The Blue Lagoon and its sequel Return to the Blue Lagoon. As a child, I once read a younger reader version of Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe, as I recall. Aside from looking through article sources to research, I have done my solo act on camera in Bali 2019 because I don't have someone to join as my crew or even a travel buddy. By screen testing myself in survival skills, but for joy to say the least, I figure to be a survival, think and feel like a survivor. This project will have very few casts from what I can tell thus far. One male and one female actors between 20s and 30s in early or mid. Both cast in any race ethnicities will be accepted. Family members at any age and gender depend on the number that should have enough scenes. How will this look and feel artistic from my story? To make this plot a mostly realistic feel with upsetting tone, if a character retains memory of normal lifestyle while stranded, forced to adapt into survival instincts and even becoming traumatic stress won't go away. Editing the scenes for b-roll, the sceneries and montages will make beautiful moments to appreciate why nature stays. By finding provisions such as fruits from trees and fishing and setting up camp by nature. Items that were discovered and abandoned to provide himself plus seek answers of his past. Example A, invent a certain instrument by nature or find music and video devices that may still have enough power to play. Example B, talking to Balinese frog figures as a personification pre represents friendship or rather spirit guide. Similar to Castaway character, Chuck Nolan made up his personified friend as Wilson from a volleyball with the face he hand printed his blood on. For a young female character to appear in a sudden mysterious moment, 
for one part out of the water as if either a mermaid or another survivor, leaving both the main character and the viewers confused to give reactions with their own with their assumptions. I have no need for the composer for background music as I can record sounds from the sky, from the sea, that are real enough to benefit. Would I experiment myself as a castaway instead of seeking an actor? As a matter of fact, it is worth taking a liberty to perform an act in a my experience adventure hence my story scenario. Avoid the easy way of lifestyles unless I find where it remains. By seeking provisions such as edible fruits are valuable instead of going to the store. Better not use any electronic devices except a camera for filming on land and underwater with my action camera in water resistant. At both Bali and Byron Bay in Australia for snorkel trip, I once tried to swim deeper but due to my body being lightweight I was forced to float up. Recorded and POV shots to appear, one of my surviving skills has a disadvantage in catching a fish barehanded. But the most challenging part, how to spend a night how to spend at least a night by setting up a camp alone in a weather condition. I may have enjoyed in outdoor activities when it comes to photography and more relaxing away from home. But I wasn't exactly keen about being a camper ever since childhood. If there is a single snake on sight, then count me out. I may have knowledge for this plot, however. I still uh, require more, more social, psychological. Self-blame, for instance, is a type of coping process for five guilt stages. The point of this story is not only forced to adapt new surroundings, but also living in fantasy, escaping reality will not bring redemption. Based on Kenny Lux's quotes, as men, every day our character is tested. The pressure of life, the conflict, the chaos, all test our character. We have two options. We can face reality head on as adult men and manage the tension and pressure of reality. Or we can escape the pressure of commitment, responsibility and sacrifice that go with reality. And become guests on what we are calling Fantasy Island. Thanks for listening or watching if you're on YouTube. Remember to hit like, subscribe for future content. Cheers.